Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a La Palma volcano update and Iceland update Friday, November 12th, around noontime, 2021. The La Palma eruption is coming to a close. Everything we said in previous videos is unfolding. Now, first, we want to bring you over and check out some of the SO2 coming from the eruption just offshore here in the Canaries, you can see there is plenty of SO2 still in the air from this volcano. And turn that off. Now, there was a five magnitude earthquake, the largest earthquake since the volcano began erupting, but this has something to do, in my opinion, with the deep magma chambers being empty at this point and collapsing. The seismicity is typically associated with empty magma chambers in the moderate range. So the magnitude 5 could simply be the final large earthquake in the entire eruption event. Another important data point is the amount of earthquakes that have happened in the last 24 hours. Less than 30 quakes over the last 24 hours. Well, this is showing now 31 quakes and the largest just being a 4.1 magnitude. So overall, a complete reduction in seismic activity over the last which is now 48 hours, almost no earthquakes compared to the rest of the entire eruption. So what we're seeing here is a, an extreme quieting down of La Palma. Seismicity also dropped down almost to zero just a few hours ago. We'll update this live to see where we're at. I just refreshed it. Let's do it again. There we go. Another drop down towards zero happening right now which is indicative of uh, the activity that we're seeing here at the volcano. The only thing happening at the volcano currently is some steam emissions. And there is very little ash coming out, if any. Don't see any ash. Don't see any lava. The lava flow appears to be pushing out still to the ocean, where we see some steam here hit, hitting the ocean. But it could be that this is the end of the eruption, and the, the very last lava could take a day or so to get out of there, and then it will go quiet which is good news for La Palma. There is still lots of work to do on this island. Some areas are covered with 60 feet of ash. So the recovery effort is going to take literally years to get things back to normal here. Now let's move on to Iceland. And yesterday we had a report. Oh, let's see, where are we? Okay, let's read the, the final report here. See if I can get a translation in here. Let me see if I can translate. Give me a second. And we're back with the IGN's most recent report. This is coming out this morning. Since the last statement, 28 earthquakes have been located in the southern part of the island. This value is considerably less than the previous days. Two of the earthquakes have been felt by the population. The GNSS station showing the reverse, reversing the elevation of days four and five. So there is deflation happening at most of the sites. And they are not going to go out on a limb here and say anything about the eruption ending. But we can certainly see what's happening here at the volcano. Now, this histogram dropped off. There was an uptick in earthquake activity, but it is now back on the floor. So those are the facts. And there's almost nothing happening at the volcano currently. So there's that. Now, let's come over to Iceland here and let's give us a little update on what's going on. Uh, yesterday, we reported on an earthquake swarm as it was happening south of the Hekla volcano system. An update coming from Iceland Geology is telling us that the earthquake of magnitude 5.2 seems to align itself with faults that are part of the SIDS rather than Hekla. So we did a little research into that. The, the swarm is still ongoing, albeit the activity has dropped off considerably, but there have been some pulses recently here. And that is also seen with the 5.2. It's just south of Hecla. So I'm just going to bring you over here to the map highlighting Hecla's location in Iceland and the fact that this is the South Iceland seismic zone. Here is Hecla volcano and some of the fissures that have uh, caused eruptions in the past. And the earthquake swarm seems to be happening right here where the South Iceland flank zone overlaps the Eastern volcanic zone, which is a propagation rift. So that seismicity, I looked a little deeper and looked at some of the volcanic systems in Iceland. So this isn't a very high resolution map, but you can get the idea. Hecla is here and the orange area or pink, it's more like a salmon. These salmon colored regions are regions that can erupt. 
And in fact, there are volcanic systems. And there's a volcanic system right here, south of Hecla, where the swarm is happening. It is called Tinda Fayolkal. And so an eruption may be imminent from this area, and there could be a new little volcano here with a new name. Or this just could be deep seismic activity in the fall. Now, what we are seeing is the Reykjanes Ridge erupt, some activity happening here over Hecla, and it's moving now up through Grimsvolten, Bartabunga, and up toward Astia. And today we can see that activity happening strong. There have been multiple large events here at Bartabunga today. This swarm is still ongoing there south of Hecla, and we have some recent activity at Astia. Now, these large spikes are Bartabunga. Yeah. And that's what's happening right there. This portion of the Grimsvoten ice sheet here, see Grimsvoten is going to be down here. The northwestern spot where the, this activity is happening, this is where Grimsvoten volcano is. And here up here we see Ostia. So what do we have to look for if Bartabunga, which is the activity here is at Bartabunga. I'm sorry, Grimsvoten is down here. So this is Bartabunga activity. And Bartabunga hasn't done anything spectacular recently. Bartabunga has been quite active. There was a VEI 0 in 2014, a VEI 0 in 2008, 6, 5, 2. So there's been small events recently there. And this could simply be a picking up of a big event. Bartabunga itself has erupted to VEI 6 back in 1477. This would have been an, a terrible time to be on Earth. Has a lot to do with the Dark Ages at that time. And, well, it must have been cold in 1478. So we'll keep a close eye on Bartabunga because it is quite active today. We now have two quakes above three magnitude in a small flurry right below the volcano. So keeping a close eye on Bartabunga as well as Ashja. There's Grimsvolten. There's Bartabunga. There's Ashja. There's Hecla and Tinda Fayokal and Reykjanes. Just bringing you up to speed. So a lot to talk about, a lot to look at, and a lot of booms. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Follow us along as we bring you up to speed with what we know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. Be safe. We love you.